You know, and every actor's got his own or her own way of approaching, you know, research and, um, you know, portrayal of these books. I mean, some, um, I know a lot of people who will never look at source material and will just go by the scripts. Um, and, you know, that's a liberating thing for some people. I, I just, you know, for me personally, having, um, having these books there and having the authors in the writer's room and having them on set every day was such an invaluable resource uh, because you have everything you need to know every step of the way right there. It's um, amazing. It was in incredible. The continuity and the consistency that everyone's committed to that. Before. Exactly. And, you know, I... And these books are beloved, you know, and it's like, and I, and I understand it because they're brilliant books. And, you know, Space Opera really hasn't had a moment in a long time. And uh, we wanted to stay true to the vision that Ty and Daniel made with these books uh, to the best of our ability visually. And they are. Everyone else that's been through here has been telling us, yeah, the technology is there. Sure. Much like, you know, we have cell phones today, but we don't talk about them like, wow, this cell phone is amazing. We're like, it just right. is. It's, right. You know, and that's how it is in the future with that and drive, with, you know, getting juiced in the crash house. That's what you do. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. Hard, so it's the characters that work in that universe that really make this such a great story. Absolutely. And, you know, I think there's another element of it as well is that there are so many different tones in this show. Like, you have, you've, you've essentially split it into three worlds. You've got Earth, Mars, and the Belt, as I'm sure you guys have heard already. But, you know, Thomas's um, world has a kind of a noirish element to it. Charay's world has this political thriller element to it. And, and we're just trying to survive out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of got this action -y element to it. And the books themselves managed to hold all of those elements and also kind of philosophical elements as well like you know all of 2001 it pulled a lot from different places and managed to hold them with so much grace and um and keep keep the storytelling harmonious um it was really exciting um for us to try and make sure that actually translated onto uh onto the screen because it, it presents so many opportunities to do interesting things you know yeah. Yeah, it's um, it was uh, it was an incredible luxury. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody from the authors to the actors to the writers in the room, everybody gave everything, and the, and the studio themselves. Thank you. Um, you know, they really they really supported us and they committed to us, and um, they had our back with something that was incredibly ambitious and. Um, it's, it was great across the board. I mean, we had such a fun time shooting this thing. Can you talk a little bit about what it means for you to be here at Comic-Con? Yeah, it's amazing. I've never been here before. So I, um, it's, uh, it's amazing to be here for the first time with this show and with um, this material and with these people. The energy is amazing because, you know, this really is for the fans. And, you know, it's, um, it's an infectious thing. This is, these are people who genuinely love science fiction and love storytelling. And it's enormous. I mean, you're in a sea of this energy, and um, and I'm and I'm one of those people as well. Like I'm nerding out all over the place here. Like I love the stuff that's here. So, what's your form of geek? My form? Yeah. Like, are you Star Wars, Star Trek, comics? I would love Star Wars growing up, and I loved comics growing up. I uh, I'm a I'm a I like I'm a reader. So like these books I've, I had read before we started, and um, and I also love. Um, I love graphic novels as well, so I, I know somewhere around here there's the uh, illustrators and stuff, there's like an illustrating section um, that I would, I, I can't wait, yeah, I can't wait to see it, because, um, oh, so cool, yeah, so, nerding, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it was extraordinary. I mean, the production design on the show uh, was, again, epic. I mean, like, we were blowing up sets every two weeks. <laughs> and, like, we had, like... Sorry. It's okay. You're finish your thought. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to, like... <laughs> is he going to jump on me? Um, yeah. 
guys? They like we had three enormous sound studios. Like some of the, I think I think and you know I think you can quote me on this. The largest sound studio in North America, just filled with these sets that we were constantly destroying. I mean, like, and they were all so gorgeous. And you see everyone's giving everything they have, and it almost tears your heart out to see them like tear it down. I was like, can't we just like put it in a museum or something? Or like, like can't we? Like, can't we? And. Um, <laughs> exactly, like or donate it or something. Like, just don't break it. You don't want to break that. Um, but you know, for us, like, it, as we're, you're in these sets, I mean, some of them were three stories high, and you're like, you don't have to really imagine being in these ships because they're made. I mean, like, you're literally walking around them, and they're almost semi-functional. I mean, without the whole, you know, being in space part. <laughs> yeah, well, without the whole flying part. But um, you know, yeah, it was amazing. It was a, everybody. Everybody gave everything they had in this show, and um, I'm really, really proud of it. Excellent. And there's no pressure at all. You know, we're not, we're not the crowd to judge you here at Comic Con. So you know, when we see the, you know, the pilot here, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's right. That's <laughs> right. This is the safe zone. Thank you. No. Hey, you know, I uh, I saw it for the first time the other day, and I am so proud. So proud of this show. Not yet. I I have. I know. I I know. I have to. Yeah, I haven't had time yet. I will. I will today. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you.